we'll be creating a histogram using Jump and using problem 1.19 in the Check Your Skills area of your textbook. Uh, you can also find this in the ebook on Stats Portal in the Check Your Skills area. Again, it's problem 1.19 where you'll see a stem plot uh, and it talks about the population of the United States is aging. You'll also find the data set link to the right of the problem on the website. Uh, you can also get the data set from the data sets which you should have downloaded from the resources area of Stats Portal. Let's get started in creating uh, the histogram. Because I already opened this file, I'll go to File, go to Recent Files, and click on the file name. And it gives us our data set, which, as you can see, has 51 values. Before we start creating the histogram, we need to make sure that we click on the title bar. Then we click on Analyze, Distribution. Then we choose the column that we want to analyze. If, if your data set had multiple columns, uh, you would choose the column that you wish to create the histogram for. And then click Y columns, click OK, and Jump quickly gives you a picture of the histogram but turned sideways. So what I'm going to do before I make the histogram horizontal is give it some space by resizing this window. Then I'm going to click on the red hotspot to the left of percent %65, go to Display Options, choose Horizontal Layout. And you'll see that Jump made the histogram horizontal, and I want to resize that. So I click in the bottom right corner of the histogram and drag and resize the histogram. Now you'll see that the histogram has class intervals of width 2, as you can see on the horizontal axis, whereas the stem plot in the problem has class interval 1. So what I'm going to do first is change the class interval to 1 by changing the increment to 1 in this dialog box. Click OK. And you'll see that the histogram now looks more, much more like the stem plot in the problem. Uh, we need to include a count axis because we have no idea how tall each column is in this picture. To tell Jump to do that, you click on, on the red hot spot again, go to histogram options, and choose count axis. And Jump gives you the count axis to the right. Uh, Jump can also put totals for each column at the top of each column. If you go back to the hot spot, go to histograms, scroll uh, options, and choose show counts, it gives you the counts at the top of each column. Uh, this picture at the top is actually a box plot that gives us our minimum value, Q1, the median value, Q3, and the maximum value out here. The other numbers that you see to the right on the quantiles, we have our five number summary, which is the minimum, first quartile, median, third quartile, and maximum. To the right of that, on the moments, we're given the mean, standard deviation, and the number of values in our data set. That completes how to create a histogram using Jump.